Be prepared for flashing images and offensive language from the start and throughout. Tonight, you're putting two up and they are putting one out live. <laughs> mates down from their usual nomination duty and instead entrusted the power to you guys. You've been voting for your favourite housemate all week. Tonight, when the poll closes, the two celebrities with the fewest votes will face eviction. Their fate will lie in the hands of their fellow housemates who are going to be choosing who they want to evict live in tonight's show. Now, the housemates have not got a Scooby. Harsh? Maybe. Exciting? Hell yes! That is coming up later, but before then, we're going to be checking in with yesterday's house action, which features all of this. How can somebody proceed after doing that to someone? It's just stopping me being me I'm in here. I want to just be myself and I can't. Something happened in here, an altercation. What? All of that is to come later. So if you haven't already voted, head to the Big Brother website or download the Big Brother app from the App Store or the Play Store. Remember, you are voting for your favourite housemate. Who are you going to choose? Will it be Ben? Dan? Gabby? Hardy? Jermaine, Kirsty, Nick, Roxanne, Ryan, or Sally. The two celebrities with the fewest votes will be announced to the house later on. Then their fellow housemates will choose who to evict live on the show. Who goes? They decide. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. OK, let's go back to yesterday, and it's the morning after the night before, and Roxanne has had a chance to sleep things off. Or has she? Dear 15, 9.30am, housemates are waking up to a new day. <sighs> After spending the night in the spare bedroom, Roxanne is coming to speak to Big Brother. Right minded people. Hi. Hi. It's so bright outside. Is it is it bright? Really bright. Hi, big brother. How are you feeling today? I'm not very good. I don't feel very comfortable or happy at the moment because I slept separately last night because I felt uncomfortable because Ryan assaulted me and he's still here and he smirked at me as I walked past. You see, I'd say that the, the house is breaking her. You know, you'd think she was the strongest. La, 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 and it's just break, it's breaking her. It gets everyone, though. It's a lonely place, this, you know. Isn't it a lonely place? As much it as there's all these people in it, it's lonely, isn't yeah. it? it? It does get everyone. You know, this isn't your family and, and friends that you're growing up with, you know, so it's lo it can get lonely. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? That's the problem with it. It's, it's, it's a super lonely place, you know. Even when you're in there, Big Brother can say one thing to you that's minor. Oh, I know. Well, that's happened to me. It's happened to me. Just the tiniest thing, and it's made me feel really low. And it really, really affected me. No, don't. It's all heightened in here, though. Everything's heightened in here. They've all got regulations and stuff in here. Yeah. They have to sort, 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 talk a certain way to you. But, like, when they speak to me, and, like, speak to me, you know, they, 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 when they were telling me what they were talking about, it was so minute, it makes me not want to be here. 
if they, if they, when they see me, they know I'm not a bad person. They know I'm not, you know, causing anyone any harm in here at all. So when they pick up on something that's nothing, that's then turned into something massive. Yeah, well, that's... I, you they, know what I mean? Soft guy, I don't ever they, mean any harm no, to anyone. Do you know that, what I mean? Well, that's it's like me. But... I'm not a quitter, though. I'm not, I'm not definitely not a quitter. That's one thing I'm not. Roxanne, Big Brother, has intervened appropriately by speaking to Ryan and is confident that there won't be any repetition <laughs> and, that, that, no, no. and that you are safe in the house. That's not acceptable. Big Brother assures you that Big Brother has your safety, first and foremost, in mind. It's already happened. It's already happened. And that footage has been reviewed. <laughs> A grown man purposefully punched me repeatedly. How can somebody proceed after doing that to someone? That's not OK. So I'm going to have to act my way through the rest of this show. Thanks. Ten thirty-five a.m. Ben, Nick, and Ryan are working out. I'm going to bring this into play. Come up onto this toe, grab the red, and knee. Yeah, knee. <laughs> knee. <laughs> knee. <laughs> Come punch your toe. What? Open toe. There. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, knee. My balance toe. Get. This again. This again. This punish it. It's up. <laughs> Gabby, Hardeep and Roxanne are in the bathroom. Last night, Ben told Roxanne that Hardeep was talking about their relationship. Hardeep. Yes? Did you make a comment about me yesterday to Ben? Yes. Why? Uh, because I was looking out for him. OK. Well, can you not speak on my behalf? It wasn't about you, it was about Ben. OK. Well, the way it was presented to me was quite mean. You were not doing anything. I was talking to him about his behaviour. OK. He was stroking your back with his foot while he was, you were sitting on his bed talking. And I said, don't do that. I did, that wasn't with it, that okay, wasn't... OK, so that's what I said to him. OK. And she, uh, it's got nothing to do with you because you're yeah, passive in that situation. Yeah. You're not doing I anything. I can't even remember that. But right. I just felt really disappointed when I was told that you had said, she's leading you on, you're being made a mug of. Because to me, I couldn't talk about my fiance more, especially to oh. Ben. But also, just let sure. me give me a chance sure, to finish. Sure. Nobody in here knows anyone well enough to make such a judgment. And my friendship with Ben is the best thing in this house. It's, it's my rainbow in this okay. house, and I can't look around with anyone else. And also, I have been nothing but honest, and I just felt really disheartened uh, and, and, and a little crushed, to be honest, to think that people were trying to manipulate or destroy that. I know your friends. Yeah, right? like brother and sister. If he's doing that, and it's caught on camera, as long it's, as it it's wasn't... It's misrepresentative okay. of your relationship as, with as, each other. Yeah, absolutely. What happened? What happened, Gabby? Basically. Because, you know, I'm not going to say anything people, to A few people have made a comment that um, Roxy's leading Ben on. And, oh, right. Um, so now Roxy's trying with to... With nothing. ...clear the air with... I mean, why do people just make, take, keep their noses out as people's stuff? It's probably pretty true. <laughs> Listen, I think you're a good person with good intentions. I don't think anything negative about your intentions, who you are. I just think sometimes in an environment when you're exposed to a person, like you you know, we all get on each other's nerves and all the rest of it. You seem, you know, you've talked, referred to yourself as being annoying on at least four or five occasions. It's so <laughs> self-deprecating. I understand that. So, you know, you're at least aware enough that there's a potential for that. So don't... So is that your passive-aggressive way of telling me I'm annoying? No, no, what I'm saying to you, that's a bit non-passive-aggressive, what you've just said there. No, no, I'm just saying 
that we're all annoying each other, I think, on varying levels. OK. Because of the pressure cooker yeah. environment. Yeah. I just didn't so like just the thought so, of it's somebody interesting. representing... Just finish what I'm saying. Sorry. It's all right. Are you the only one that's allowed to finish the sentence? Oh, I've okay. said, that's why I said sorry. So what I want you to take away from what I've just said there is that I believe you to be a good person and that it's important for me to say that to you. OK. Cool, cool. Thank you. Not at all. Have a good day. Oh. If I say things to you, two things. One, represent what I say correctly and two, think before you go saying it to other folk. Am I saying it for your benefit or anyone else's? OK. I care about you mm. a lot, OK? Yeah. I don't give a fuck about anyone. I don't give a f I'm sorry. Yeah, chill. Don't yeah. give a fuck about Roxy. Chill. Just, just, yeah, hey. OK? Hey, I, hey, hey. Who was I looking out for when I said what I said to yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Cos you were like, you know, you're like, you know, like, you And it wasn't just that. No, but listen. It wasn't just that. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean it wasn't just that? It wasn't just what I said to you? No. Other people have said things to you? Mm. OK. But also, listen. Someone like Roxy can choose to misrepresent things because I think she likes a bit of drama. So it's dramatic but, uh, for her to cross the room and say that to me, right? But I hear what you say. I hear you. <laughs> right? But I'm, I'm sorry if I... Like, no, no. Uh, hey, Because you don't... Bless did you, you say no. what I said? Yeah? And I respect Thank that. you. All right? My hand is empty, but I could fight you. <laughs> no, no, I don't hear you, my man. Sally has a sense there's tension in the house. Hardeep's comments made me feel vindicated, <laughs> totally, in everything I've been thinking about him, to be very honest. But I don't know... Ben, you know what Ben is like. Ben is, um, whether he's just being, you know, uh, incredibly cautious in here, but he was just... I said, you know, what's happened, Ben? Or something like that. And he went, oh, uh, mm, uh, uh, literally like that. So it's a bit like, well, forget that. He's never going to come across with it, what he said. And I think he's, you know... I just sense, call me psychic, big brother, but I just sense that with Ben, he wants to please Hardeep and Roxy. And this isn't, this isn't, I don't think, is a situation where you can please both of them. This is a situation where you have to say where you stand, not taking sides, it's where you stand on this matter. If you're Roxy or Ben. The rest of us, it's nothing to do with us. Can sense the tension in the house, call her psychic. After the break, Sally and Kirsty do a spot of navel gazing. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> put you lot in charge of setting tonight's eviction agenda and very soon we'll see the result of your decisions and find out which two housemates are up but there is still time to ensure your favorite housemate is safe from the live eviction drama so um, get on the app or the website you can find all the terms on the big brother website right let's go back to the house yesterday where gabby and kirsty are putting on a dazzling display of toilet roll artistry One or three p.m. Kirsty and Gabby are on a roll. <laughs> and here's Gabby. Look at Gabby. She's been at this a long time. This is her last year to be in the Olympics, doing the twirly things. Oh, no one has ever done. Oh my. Oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. Excellent, Gabrielle. Your turn. <laughs> oh. Now, what people don't know. <laughs> That I, I, I always me. use the two. OK. La, 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 la. I have ballet training. That's why I... Oh, yes, you're very elegant. You can see that. You can see Graceful. that. Graceful. Yeah. And now I do a flip. OK. <laughs> Good. And now oh, I do a flip. Oh, the crowd goes wild. OK. Now I do 14 cartwheels in a row. Boom, boom, splits, and... Yeah. Kirsty Ali <laughs> wins again. 2018 Olympics of bug roll. 
<laughs> Roxanne and Ben are having a private chat in the toilet. Everyone's implying there's something inappropriate here, and I'm like, Ben looks at me like a little sister. Oh, I don't know if it's bears, but bears is what it is. All right? It's nuts how I feel. And I'm I feel not, about what? Just you, you know, just being you, you there. A fucking weird. Because from day one, you've been my anchor and I've been your anchor. Yeah. And that is, that is Special. a strong friendship. That's a strong bond. Mm. But why, but why do people want to destroy that? Because, yeah, like... Because they don't have that. I don't get it. I just want to be me. And, like, I'm not going to hold back. I'm being me. Yeah, but I've always... I do, I've I, do look, I do look at you and I'm like, oh, like that. And you know that. No, it's You there. look at Gabby like that. No, you know you don't know me, then. You don't know me. That's... You're everything. That's being honest. Dan is seeking answers to a very important question. <laughs> Is the Earth round? Yes. Why? Well, pictures from the moon. Apparently they're being edited by NASA. How do you know New Zealand exists as a country? There's actually a place called New Zealand. How do you know that? It's on the map. Oh, it's on the map. NASA doctored the map. Well, maybe there ain't then. I've never been oh, there. You're right, I've been there. Uh, but been maybe there. that wasn't yeah, New Zealand. Well, it was. Maybe it was just part of America that they named New Zealand. Now we're getting silly. Now we're getting silly. Is it a circle or is it not? We are now... So, the, the Flat Earth movement has really started afresh. It's always been there. Has it? What? What, people think yeah, it's flat? Yeah, yeah people, people in America, oh. they're questioning everything. Group chats about it. Yeah. yeah. The Flat Earth movement has really started since Trump came into power. <laughs> uh, because everything's up for, up for grabs now. Everything's yeah. able, you can question anything and everything. Really? Do you know when we flew flat? I don't mean flat like a, a, a piece of bread. I mean more curved round, not a big circle. It's more more slightly curved. And you believe this, Jay? Well... One of the artists at my shop thinks it's flat. <laughs> yeah, but you need well, to get rid of him. I'll say, good job, you're a good artist, mate. <laughs> 2.35pm. Sally has something she wants to share with Kirsty. You know, did I tell you I was given a new belly button? Pardon? I was given a new a new navel when I had my it? when when I had my that's a new one. Isn't that perfect? Yeah. Completely new. Well my navel was down here because of my skin. So he they took five and a half pound off. And that is where my navel was when I was a teenager, before I had children. Oh, my God, how fun. And when I first saw it, I said to him, oh, you've made it too high. He said, I haven't, Sally. It's where it should be. <laughs> but I was so used to it being down here. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? But I can't touch it. It's really weird. I can't go near it. It puts my teeth on edge. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Ben and Roxanne oh, 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 are in the bathroom. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, left bum, eye. Bum, bum. Oh. That's a lot to digest one sec. Right. <laughs> Dan is talking to Hardeep about raising his daughter. No, but I will not... I ain't having her going out. <laughs> no boys are going near her, ever. <laughs> really? They all say. Yeah, mate, trust me. It ain't happening. <laughs> you know women have had the vote for over 100 years, you know that, don't you? Oh, my God! I'm aware of that. I'm not telling... <laughs> I'm not saying all that. I'm saying she's my daughter. I'm not having no other bloke go near my daughter. <laughs> well, maybe when she's, like, 25, 26. <laughs> no, this is serious. And then... She can go to town. Or anyone that even <laughs> takes her to the cinema, I would have to, like, sit him down, question him first, <laughs> make sure he's a nice lad. There's gonna be... How about you trust your daughter to make those decisions, no? Oh, I'm gonna bring her up with class. Then you but... don't need to worry. Your job's done. <laughs> Let her no, make her own decisions. I don't trust other fellas. She would literally be like, look, this couldn't possibly go any further because <laughs> my dad will not let it happen <laughs> and he'll be knocking on your door tomorrow. So, I'm going to go on. <laughs> She's going to stay. So when did you start being in denial about your daughter's life? When do you what? I'm just joking. I'm making a joke. All right. I find that hugely depressing. You don't care what Teddy does? I do, but it's less worry with a boy, I feel. Do you know what I mean? No, I, I don't. I didn't think you did. 
as if Hardik would just agree. <laughs> I mean, well, no, must... I understand the impulse. That's the way I felt when my daughter was born. But you have to respect them. And we, for me, overprotecting your daughter is what keeps men in control. No. Well, I don't feel like men are in control of what? The world. I don't think men are in control of the world at all. OK. Not one bit. I I'm, I'm, I'm happy for women to control the world. But they don't. Well, it's definitely changing. I, I'd, I'd say it's equal. Would you? Well, I, I'm listen, I ain't getting into that. No, but I would also t teach Teddy always to respect women and, and be a good guy as well. I will teach him from the mistakes that I've made. <laughs> He'll be an expert, then. He's going to be the best, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've made many a mistake in my time. <laughs> Who amongst us hasn't, brethren? We all have. We all have. No one's perfect. Six thirty-two p.m. Kirsty is speculating about this week's eviction. I've finally, like, really settled in. And I think that means that that's the calm before the storm, so... So we don't understand what's happening for tomorrow, so we, we think something big's gonna happen. Um, we feel like... Maybe the public is, is gonna eliminate some of us. And... Oh, some of the people think that you're, we're bringing Natalie back. Some of the people think it's just gonna introduce another uh, person or people into the group. Um, some think that, that Big Brother might oust two or three people. Um, I actually think I just thought of the worst thing that could happen is that we have to say, I nominate you face to face because it just feels so mean. No one can figure out what's going to happen, but it does feel a little too calm, and we know that the calm comes before the storm. So, uh, I guess everyone thinks, as we say in Kansas, the shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> Roxanne is confiding in Ben. You are. Right? Mm. Talk to me, little one. Um, so the reason I was in the diary room a lot yesterday uh. was because something happened in here. An altercation. What? Shit. Um, I didn't want to tell you last night because she's had a few drinks. Oh, I feel like getting watched. Come on. Shit. Yeah, it, we are being watched. So Ryan punched me. What? It wasn't play fighting. He punched me repeatedly in my ribs there, and. Um, I didn't say anything, but I was in so much pain all night. It was intentional to hurt. He went for it, he, he did it with his fist, and it was so sore and so aggressive. And I walked off, and for the next hour, I was, like, in a, bl a blur of, like, confusion. And... and... Are you all right? No, okay. I'm not. Oh, baby. oh, it's all falling apart now, isn't it? <clears throat> Just show me here what he did. Just here, just on me. <laughs> oh! No! Yes! Yes! Like four, five, six times. To you? Yes! I just... Oh, my God. Nah, it's done my head. No, it'll all kick off. No, no, I can't deal with that. I know. I don't, but that's you know what? I'm, I'm think, raging. But I know, but listen, I, as, as my friend, I need you to do You hit that? Way. You don't do that to... That's what you did. He did that with the intention of hurting me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fine. Get out there. Face on. Give me a minute. Oh, you know, Rob. Well, maybe. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Oh. How are we doing? Oh. Oh. Long time in there, mate. Constipated? Yeah, no. Not constipated. It's a bit of a moment. Oh. 40 minutes together in the toilet with a woman that's engaged to somebody else. Ben, made me look like a dick. What do you do, man? <laughs> what do you think he <laughs> no, looks like? No, it's always got like? Yeah, What do you think he looks like? What do you think Lee's going to be thinking? 
Swap places with Lee for a minute. Oh, no, I, th I think you need, you need to ask yourself how sincere she's being. Uh, that's, oh, no, no, that's my it's, advice. It's, yeah, I, 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 uh, what are you doing? I'm just, Spending I'm just... 40 minutes in a toilet with a woman engaged to be married to somebody else. Yeah, mate, it's not going to do it. <laughs> with no cameras. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Nobody minds. Do you know what I mean? No, it's not. No, just no but be fucking it, honest about it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but it's just. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not what you think. Our resident wise man laying some knowledge on Ben, but is he really listening? Uh, okay, the poll closes in just under five minutes, so make sure you get on the app to save your favourite housemate from saying their goodbyes. After the break, the fallout continues as Roxanne and Ryan each reflect on the night before. I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Big Brother, thank you all so much for your votes, but I can tell you that the poll is now closed. Very soon, we'll find out who your two least favourite celebrities are, and then their fellow housemates will choose which one goes live. First, though, a final look at last night's action, and Ryan and Sally are having a heart-to-heart. -heart. 7.21pm. Ryan is talking to Sally about his relationships in the house. Love the boys. We used to get on well with them. I banter They're that. brilliant. Well, because like, I don't go out and spend all night with them. There's, you know, there's that missing with us a little bit. Like, you know, I, I don't have yeah, but it's... that same bond that they have with each other. But I think, they, they, you know, I love being around them. They're, and they they're good love to be you. around. And I yeah. love them, but there's just always one missing because I'm not the one that stays yeah, out with them all night. Do you know what I like about you? There's an honesty about you. There's, like... You've got a very true line that runs through you, and it's like, that's, that's rare. And in an environment like this, that's when you see it, that's when you can I'd be so much more if I could have, but I can't in here, so it's just stopping me being me where I'm in here. Because I want to just be myself, and I can't. Absolutely. So you just get yours careful about what you're going to say. It's not my thing to say. Mm. But she just kind of told me what happened and why. I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to say or something like this, you know what I mean? That's what I mean, this is hard. Yeah. Because I love yous, I just want to say it how it is. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, shit. So but what? Bless her, something's happened to her. I'm like, it ain't nice. But it's but making what, me so think. something's happened to her? And she's, and, and like, she's like, oh, I didn't want you to think in this and that. So she didn't nice, because I thought it was something else. Mm. I thought it was something I've done or something like mm. that. And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. But now, it's fuck my head up. Because even though you want to be like, okay, I'm here for years and all this and all that, proper no problem. But now, I feel like I'm getting played a little bit. Because I'm thinking, I know what you mean. It's weird. It's I don't understand. Like, I don't... Almost like she, she wants you to be yeah. like, full on, having fun, playing, blah, 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 and all the. But is it one of those things? Is it one of those things? But then when, it, it, then when anyone says anything, she'll kick off at you. And then, so are you thinking like your best? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit sugar. Bless you think you're yeah. best to um, like, back off a bit? Thank you, mate. Oh, again, and but then I thank you. I'm all right, but yeah, and that's what I mean. It's like, same thing. Like, what we were I talking like, about. I want, I, yeah, I want you when it suits me, but yeah. then when it's on top, I want the scene. But then when someone when accuses it of being more, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the get scene. out with you yeah. and sleep in the another scene. room. No, I just oh. like, yeah, Adini, little one, little one. Well, it's fucking hard in there, isn't it? it gets, Do you think they're going to call me to the diary room? That's all I'm asking. No, don't talk about it. The it's only people I care about this being relevant to right now is you two. Yeah, because these want are my you, boys, aren't they? But, yeah, but you're my big brothers too. I'm lost, so it's cool with me. I'm, I'm lost. Right. No, see, but I don't want to know. I don't, no, no, I don't no. think I want to know. No, and, and I won't tell you. Yeah, all yeah. I need you to do good. is, oh, is oh. not listen to anyone else that mm. plants seeds of doubt and not hold it against me for being upset. It's not, it's, it's because of something that's happened to me as a, and, and this is my reaction, but I'm okay. But the show are dealing with it. The show are dealing with it massively. It's not for the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, that's all, mate, I don't... So... Well, anyway, that's it. Okay. Yeah, okay, oh, stay there right. now, Blue. But it's not. It's worse, and it, it, let's just say, didn't want it like that in the scene. 
OK. Oh, yeah, and so it's happened. A scene player that wasn't playing a scene. Boom. OK, yeah. let's leave it at that. All right. Yeah, done. No idea what that means. Scene actor? Yes. Not a little one here. It's not, it's not nice. But he wasn't acting. Like, what the fuck, man? Eight sixteen p.m. Ryan is talking to Sally and Nick about Roxanne. I, I know this girl before I came in here. She went out oh, my best you? mate. She went out my best mate. She's your best mate. She went out my best mate. Oh. She didn't. She didn't treat him too good, so it's hard for me. Oh. But I don't, you know. No, I know. I know. I'm in I'd, here, but I'm not. You know. I didn't know that. It was a long time ago, you know, but just uh, it's just hard when you've got this... You've had this opinion of someone so long and then you're in the house with them and it's, you know... I'm doing the best I can. But what I'm seeing here is exactly what I've seen all them years ago. I mean, our, our old man's got to go mental, hasn't he? I don't know. I don't know. That's well, why I don't know why... I don't, if she, if she, why, why would you go in the toilet? Why you just have it out there in front of him so you, can, you fella can see it? Because it's... It's fucking camera time, in my opinion. That's... Well, that's 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 what it's all been all about. From yeah. from everything I've seen, if I've got yeah. it wrong, I've got it wrong. But yeah, same as, same as. It's not it's not what I've been seeing, and it's it's been something I've seen for years and years and years. Yeah, she can't just have started this. No. <laughs> Come on. Ben has come to talk to Big Brother. How are you, Ben? My head's going. My head's going, seriously. Right, so I'm just telling it out here, right? I've got loads of time for Roxy, and I was really worried about her last night. She's pulled me a couple of times today for something serious that's happened, and it's upsetting me. I'm, I'm not a bad lad, and I want to help people, but I feel like my head's really messed up, because I'm thinking, on one side, people are saying I'm getting played. On another side, I'm like, Oh, is it, you know, real and stuff like that? And But at the same time, I know it is, cos I've looked into the girl's eyes and you can see that. Oh, I d My head's mashed. Am I getting mugged off here? Can you tell me that? Can you tell me that? Eleven forty-eight pm Kirsty wants to know what life's like in the Thomas household. If you were home right now, Ryan, what would you be doing? I'm on telly, so I can't tell you, but I would be with my missus. <laughs> doing some stuff. <laughs> doing some stuff. <laughs> what do you speculate that will happen tomorrow? I really don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't care. I know you don't care, but play along. I feel like there's got to be some shock where one of us has to nominate someone to leave there and then. Please pick me. To leave? <laughs> yeah. Some of the housemates are talking about Ryan. If what you're saying, if he does stay in here, then after here, oh. he'll be fucked. Depending on what it is, I don't know what it is. He shouldn't have the privilege of Thank you. winning this show. Thank the you. potential chance of winning this show. He shouldn't even continue the experience, which yeah. I said. I said that. But it's very strange how he retreated. Guilt. Oh, that's fucking shit, mate. I don't want him to be here anymore. Because why should I? Well, no, I said I don't want to be in this under the same roof as him. And, where, and therefore, why should I leave? And all they've done is put, give you... Is that why you went in that other no. room? Yeah. Night, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, if that was me, yeah, I, I, I would never... Well, I don't know what it is, but I would never do anything like whatever he's done. It's wrong. But all I say is I wrong. would walk out, I'd be like, fuck, man, I'm going, what a dick but I am. But he's had the audacity to do it. I don't know what it is. So I don't even, he oh, is mate. actually... And he's got the audacity to stay. What's happened yesterday, as you can imagine, today has been an eventful day in the house. So we wanted to give you a little insight into the latest between Ryan and Roxanne. I, I honestly, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I was showing my affection 
maybe it came across the wrong way and I promise you, you got it wrong and I really do apologise if it's come across that way. For your sake, your little time in here and my time in everyone else's, mm -hmm. put it to bed. Yeah. I'm not questioning your integrity. I just felt shocked and it threw me. Let's just sort it out. Let's just, you know, make everyone else smile, make everyone else's time good yeah. in here yeah. and we can move forward. And I don't want this to be our ending. Well, they won't. They I won't. don't want this to be your ending. I don't want this to be my ending. Because we're not going to let that happen. No. All right? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Go on then. Let's just make this right. You can see the full story on tomorrow night show. After the break, we'll discover which two celebrities are going to be facing eviction. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother. So this week, you have been voting for your favourite celebrities. We have had over a quarter of a million votes. And the two who have received the fewest will face eviction. Now it's time for their fellow housemates to decide who goes. They have been speculating all day. Big Brother has gathered them at the dining table. So let's hand over to Big Brother. Hold it, listen, listen. This is Big Brother. Housemates. Since Tuesday of this week, the viewers have been voting for their favourite housemate. The two housemates who received the fewest votes will face eviction tonight. Big Brother can now reveal that the two housemates facing eviction are... Ben. And... Jermaine. Wow. What? Wow. What? Ben and Jermaine, what? your fellow housemates will now decide who to evict. Oh, what? what? No way. Housemates no way. are not permitted to discuss, indicate, or no. influence voting amongst themselves and must remain seated oh at the God. dining table. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Oh, Would Dan God. come to the diary room immediately? No, oh. you can't make me choose between. Oh, man, I can't. Oh, my God. Just have to do it, Dan. I can't, though, man. Like, you that's just look, do it. Look, Come on. everybody's cool with it. I'm Come sure on. the two boys are. You've just I, I, got to do it. Go for it, Dan. Just do what you've got to do, mate. Just go in there and see oh, Natalie. It'll the be fun. They're, they're cool with it. Man. Could Dan honest, come to the diary room who wants immediately? Just to go on. Be honest, boy. Who'd you rather go? Don't talk to him. You're not allowed to. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't pick between my. Fuck, my boys. Oh, my God. It's Sophie's choice all over again. Hello, Dan. Hello, big brother. Would you please give the name of the housemate you want to evict, Ben or Jermaine? Oh, this is this is like this is insane. I can't like they're both they're both my boys. I this is crazy. Whose idea was Dan, this? Dan, you must choose a housemate to evict now. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, oh. Sorry, I, this is so hard. Uh, oh my God, man, I why me? I don't want to do this. Dan, big brother needs a name. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ah, oh, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose Jermaine. I just, I don't know, Ben. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose Jermaine. I think he'll be better about it. I think he'll take it better than Ben, and I, I, I don't know. Dan, you are not permitted to reveal who you have voted for. OK. Thank you. You may now return to the house. Thank you. One of them, whoever goes, can get the... Uh... This is Big Brother. Would Gabby come to the diary room? Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Whoever goes gets the after party ready. How are they in the yes. bottom two? How are they in the bottom two? I don't understand it at all. Oh my God, I literally don't understand. Don't get it. Just don't understand it, innit? Mm.
Gabby, would you give the name of the housemate you want to evict? I don't know. Um... Gabby, Big Brother needs a name. Mm, do I have to give reasons? Big Brother just needs a name, Gabby. Oh, my God. Um, Jermaine. Thank you, Gabby. You may now return to the house. This is Big Brother. Would Hardeep come to the diary room? Who's next case for you? Good evening, big brother. Hello, Hardeep. Take a seat. Hardeep, could you give the name of the person that you would like to evict? Ben. Thank you, Hardeep. You may return to the house. Thank you. This is Big Brother. Would Kirsty come to the diary room? Huh? Hello, Kirsty. Hello. Would you give the name of the housemate you want to evict? Ben. Thank you, Kirsty. You may now return to the house. <laughs> Our eels on the screen. <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> This is Big Brother. Would Nick come to the diary room? Oh, boys, I hope I make the right decision for you, all right? Well, You're both you. diamonds, all right? <sighs> Nick, would you give the name of the housemate that you would like to evict? Jermaine. Thank you, Nick. You may now return to the house. <sighs> don't, I, I don't even know what to say. Why is it so quick? Don't know what to say at all. Come on, you've just Would Roxanne to... come to the diary room? What do you say? What the fuck do you say? Well, you've just got to do one of them. You have to say it. It's thought dreadful, but you've got to. If you don't make yourself clear, you're not going right today. Oh, These two should... Roxanne, would you please give the name of the housemate that you would like to evict? Oh, I can't choose. I can't choose between those two lads. I can't choose. I'd rather go. I'll go. I will go. I want to go. Roxanne, Big Brother needs a name. I can't choose. They're two of the best people in here. I can't choose. I want to go. I will go. Leave them to an ear. I will go. Roxanne, you have the power to influence which housemate is evicted this evening. You should use this power now. Roxanne, Big Brother needs a name. Sorry. Purely because he said to me tonight, he's ready to go. Purely because of him saying that to me tonight, I'll have to pitch him in. Thank you, Roxanne. You may now return to the house. Would Ryan come to the diary room? I'm oh, sorry about this, boys. Oh, we'll the pair of you. We've got to do, we'll the pair of you, man. Mm -hmm. Don't want to do.
Hello, Ryan. Would you please give the name of the housemate you want to evict? I love them both the same. Um, I feel like everyone's going to maybe sway towards Dan, uh, Ben, so I'm going <sighs> to... I'm going to say Ben. Thank you, Ryan. You may now return to the house. Would Sally come to the diary room? You know. Oh, oh. Hello, Sally. Would you please give the name of the housemate that you want to evict? Ben. Thank you, Sally. You may now return to the house. Thank you, big brother. Who's no. no one. Ben, no, it's been a pleasure, mate. Oh. This is Big Brother. The results of the vote are in. Both housemates received four votes, which means there is a tie. Yes. Housemates have one final opportunity to come to a majority vote. No. What? When Big Brother reads out the name of the housemate you want to evict, you should raise your arm. No. You may change your earlier no. vote if you so wish. You must keep your arm raised until Big Brother instructs you to put it down. If you would like to evict Ben, please raise your arm now. You're going to have to Come on, make it, brother. We're not. We're, it doesn't make it even. What? That's it even. What happens if we... Uh, that's it. No. Got, that's no. it. Five. Should, should have left. Five. All right, all right, all right. Why? That weren't my vote, but anyway. Hodeep, Ryan, Sally, Nick and Kirsty, you have all voted for Ben to be evicted. Oh, my God. That's all right. That's all right. Bless you. Thank you very much for the lovely experience and everything. Love you to meet you, mate. Love you to meet you, Cool. That's cool. Bless you. Cheers, my darling. That's fine. That's all right. Love you. Cheers. I'm the LA man. Yeah, love you. Cheers. Cheers, big fella. I love you, Mum. Oh. Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Oh, I love you, brother. With five votes to three, the third housemate to be evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother House is. Yeah, oh, you are okay. That's fine. Ben. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Ben. You are the third person to be evicted. I'm coming to get you. Can you be? If I want to see. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We all can act. Ben, you have been evicted. Please leave the celebrity Big Brother house. <laughs> Housemates must close the door. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ben! Please make some noise for our third evictee. It's Ben! <laughs> so there was loads of speculation as to what was going to happen this evening amongst the housemates. Yeah, there was lo yes, lots of lots of yeah, 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 yeah. lots of. Uh, we did. To be honest, we thought someone was going to come in. We yeah. thought someone was going to go out. Yeah. Lots there was of chat people. about whether Natalie was going to come back. Yeah, loads of Chinese whispers going on. So, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, you just uh, you just don't know how it's all going to go, do you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, we obviously saw a tie in the diary room, and then it went Breaks back. Breaks your heart, doesn't it, Kel? To... <laughs> <laughs> we were all saying, going, "What? No way!" Um, but then, obviously, um, it changed around the table. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any idea who the other person was that changed their mind? Um, I think, bless it, it was Kirsty because she stayed and she gives a little. Kiss and a cuddle, and she went. No, it was like, Nick. Oh yeah, and he called, Nick was the one that he had a little he, whisper. He yeah. thought they were trying to do us out or whatever, but it's what it is, isn't it? So yeah. we're in, now, aren't we? Yeah. But, like, you I, seem quite okay with it. Do you know what? Well, you know, I've been blessed. I'm just a normal geezer like that. I've been blessed, like to like you know, experience um, some great characters. Yeah. And yeah, I've just I, I had a good time and just tried to be me. So I hope it's alright. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you, you, I mean, <coughs> yeah, if you're, like, a pretty hyper and fun individual, then yeah, it's you've been you. <laughs> Excited, Belema. Uh, <laughs> we've got to talk about the last 48 hours because it's been pretty it's been intense mad, in the house yeah. Um, yeah. with the whole Roxanne mm. and Ryan situation. Yeah. Um, she kind of came to you before mm. anybody else to talk to you about it. So what were your initial thoughts um yeah when like, you had at the end of the day like, i trust roxy and i trust what she was saying and i like to be honest i've got like kind no, of listen listen the crowd are going to have their oh opinion. no sorry yeah i didn't you, know they were going to come have up to have, you have to have your opinion so don't all of the I think noises, honest, just, didn't see that. just carry on now all i'll say is right just say that is right in my in my life and in my past time i've had um, things that have happened to my family and things like that which yeah. i'm like totally against and stuff like that you know, you see me, I, I, I like to have a little box, I do what I do and stuff. But when she said that, I'm like, whoa, that's yeah. like, that's not Shocked. right. Yeah, and for me, then I've kind of taken it up on my shoulders. Yeah. So when I've taken it up on my shoulders, it really messed me up. I went in the diary room a little bit and, like, it's like, don't do anything, don't do it. And I'm like, no, don't let yourself down, Ben. But then all of a sudden, I'm looking at the, the little girl, like the, la the little lady next to me, she's shaking, she's petrified, and I'm going, that ain't right. Mm. So... Of course, like, I've kind of, like, kind of gone, like, done my workout, get out of my system, do what you do. Yeah. And it's just all about, like, kind of... Um, and I think it's better out than in. And I don't like Chinese whispers. It's not my type of person. Yeah. I, a problem I faced straight away. So I just had a little straightener and I said... And I wasn't, um, like, kind of chucking anyone on a bus. I wasn't digging anyone out. I just said, look, 
you know, like, is it is anything happen? What's your take on it? All I'm saying is, it's not right to, you know, boxing's in the gym. Yeah. That's what that's what's got me up, like off the streets and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Kept me out of mischief anyway. Um, there's been a lot of talk, a lot a lot of speculation. Everybody has an opinion. What we would like to do is actually show you what happens so that you can have a, a yeah a, yeah a like fair, a fair look of it. Here you go. It, it, oh, sorry, here. my darling. Yeah. Clean towel. Like my clean. I've got a little what? towel that I'm going to use. Woman beater. Go on, what? Did it, sorry. I was going to ask if you want your washing on, but I might shrink him instead. I might shrink the... Oh. So that is the incident she's talking about. Oh, that's... Oh, that, that's not... What's your, see, initial, see, what's for... your initial reaction? It uh, breaks me hard. I mean, like it's that. a lot to take on. No, I'll be honest. Well, no, it is. No, but at the end of the day, I said, show me. Do what you did on me. And um, she's kind of gone... Like, and I was like, that ain't right. Mm. And of course, I've been doing a little bit with Ryan and showing him a little few things anyway. And I'm thinking, oh, you shouldn't really be doing that. But to that, she's like left it off, ain't she? Which, oh, now I feel like I've been mugged right off, innit? Do you know what I mean? Again. What, what have, um, that was, that was oh, obviously a couple of days ago. Does my head in. Always fall for it, don't I? The uh, eyes, Ez. <laughs> blooming eyes here. You all melt me blooming out here. Well, <laughs> listen, we're, we're not kind of showing that to nah. to blame her, to, to blame him, to blame anybody. We're just trying to have a, a fair portrayal, really, of, of what yeah, is happening. That's not, what I got, that's not what I got told. Yeah. I, and and, I, and, and the, the action here on me, and then I like, I just, all it is, I'm just like, I just tried to be the right and tried to do the right thing by just saying, look, it's not right to do that. Or, it's a ch ch I don't know. It's just, that was a couple not... of days ago, obviously. Yes, what yeah. is the what has the last twenty four hours been? The last like? twenty four hours is um, I've kind of like went well. We've been back. In, I spoke with Dan. We've been back in the big brother house. If anything's really that serious, big brother's going to look after you and they're going to get you out. So of course, after like conversation and that, the only reason I approached Ryan was because I didn't want any tension. I don't yeah. like to isolate people, that's not me, you know, and I've seen the, the geezer was isolated for like 24 hours. Um, so, again, remember, Roxy's left, she's not slept in the room the night before yeah. and all this, she's scared to be in the same room with this, you know, so all I'm trying to do is just kind of ease the tension. I've gone back to Ryan, bless him, I've had a little cry with him, a little wog, and, you know, and I've just said to him, it, it, look, it is what it is, mate, um, but, you know, hold your head up now, get on, yeah. forget about it, move forward. Um, but I just felt all day that I'd been played and I'd been... But I was only trying to do the right thing. And that's me, I do... Yeah. I do actually try yeah, and do and, the right and, thing and in I life. And I think that's, that's clear. Um, you did have uh, quite a special relationship with, with yeah, Roxanne, though. Like, I mean, we, we want you to have a look. Bless you, my darling. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't have you in this house. Who else I've got to play with? We're just friends. We're like brother and sister. <laughs> ben is hyper. I adore Ben. Ben, I think, is falling in love. I've got a little bit of a crush on Mark, so I know, you know what I mean? Tell me. I will, I will tell tell you me that. now. What is it? Do you know, and I can't help it, and I'm sorry. Why? Just, it's all good. It seems that a boy and a girl can't be friends without really? people talking. Don't let them make a mock of you. Ben's like my parallel. It's weird. We sing from the same page. So, we know that um, you fall in love quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> We heard Nick say, bless him, I think he's falling in love. And we did hear you say to her, we have gone back and counted that you love her ten times in total. Oh, uh, oh we're back here again. I love everyone, I don't know. I love you, Em. Stop winking <laughs> at me like that, Ben. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, how how do you attention. feel about her? Look, at the end of the day, right, I don't want to be Aside that... Aside from all of this that's happened with Ryan, how do you feel about her? What? But, um, I think she's, like, all I say is, she's a lovely girl. She, she does what she does. Um, I think I do feel a little bit of a mug right sat here right now, but you know, she was a comfort blanket for me. She was yeah. that. How do I feel about her? I ain't gonna, you know, I think she's a lovely girl. That's all I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? It's, I, I, that's all I can say, innit? I just, I do feel like 
I, I ain't gonna like dig. I just feel like a little bit upset like that. I played, and I do. It is what it is, isn't it? I, I am what I am. In what in what way do you think she's played you? I just feel like when someone's you know come to you and said this and said that, even when I try to stay away from Roxy or whatever, it was like, mm. well, why are you being funny with me and why are you like this and oh, why you're with you, Gabby having a play, you know? Why and made, did you try and keep away from her? Just was be, it because that people kept saying yeah, to you? Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Am I? I don't want to be. Remember. I was in a relationship for 13 years. She ran off with a fella. Yeah. I, I, I'm broken hearted. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? So, but at the same time, bless her, she has been isolated from the ass. I don't like to victimise anyone. Mm. I don't want to see anyone be isolated. So again, she's been there for me. Oh, mate, I've had some tough times. I've had some roller coasters in the ass where she has been there for me. Yeah. And you know, and like so, again, she did bring like all my life. I had people pushing me in. She did bring, I'd probably say, the best out of her sometimes, you know what I mean? In a yeah. difficult situation. So that's what I tried to do for her. But plus, I do feel sorry for her in there now. So. Um, we heard you say in the diary room, um, just, um, am I being mugged off? This was a conversation to yeah, Big Brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you said, but I look into the girl's eyes and I can see that it's real. Yeah. What, what Hence did why you I see? did what I said. What did you think was real or see that was real? Um, you just see yourself sometimes, a little bit of a lost soul. Seeing a bit of a lost soul there, kiddo. Right. And I'll just say how it is. And I see myself in someone's eyes. So sometimes. not that I you don't thought like... it, there was a thing there? No, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. But when someone hugs you and gives you hold up, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I ain't going to be that guy. I am happy-go-lucky. I want to have a good time. Um, and I don't like to see anyone upset and hurt. If I can put a smile on someone's face, mm. that's me. I, I, you know, and I try and do that. But well, I think you've done that. Laughter's the best therapy. I do. I, th I very much think you've um, done that with the housemates. Has he done that for you guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put thank, a smile thank, on people's faces. Thank, Who would you like to see win? Um, uh, Danny boy. I like Dan. Yeah. He's my fella, isn't he? I love him. <laughs> I do love that's him. That's who you really fell in love with. I did, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell everyone. <laughs> uh, ben, thank you so much. No, bless you. Here thank you so friends. much, my darling. Oh, cheers. Oh, here we go. It's Ben. Hello. Ooh. You all right? How are you doing? You all right? <laughs> I'm not good with ladies. Me with some high heels on, I'll tell you. There she is. Oh, <laughs> there she is. He's just crazy. He's funny all round. I'm liking this! <laughs> ben is absolutely bonkers, but he's brilliant. Stop rubbing it against me. <laughs> Be ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> I married a stranger, and now I'm sleeping with one. Ben's a sweetheart with the heart of a Labrador and the body of a fighter. <laughs> ben has just got an infectious energy. Everything he does, he puts his proper heart and soul into it. Come on, push, come on! <laughs> it's it's non-stop laughter with him. <laughs> ben is Ben. He's up and he's ready to go. He's like a little puppy dog. We're like magnets, we're attracted to one another. He's forever going, I love you, I love this tip, everyone. We've got a little baby on the way, huh? <laughs> yeah! If I wanna dance, we should dance. That's awesome, man. Ben is absolutely brilliant. Like, he's, sometimes it's hard to keep up with him. I like singing and dancing, don't I? <laughs> I have nothing but admiration for that man. And his sexuality is so fluid, it's so interesting. That's D. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ben! <laughs> well, that was a dramatic night, wasn't it? Uh, there's no let up as well as the drama continues next week when it is time for a surprise eviction. <laughs> The housemates are going to be nominating tomorrow and they'll have no idea that the next eviction will actually happen on Monday at 9pm on Channel 5. Don't miss it. I will be here and I hope to see you. Uh, right. Happening right now, it is the final of Celebs on the Farm on Five Star. But if you want more Big Brother action, which I know you do, uh, Rylan is up next with Bet on the Side. He's going to be getting his teeth, quite literally, into bed. Uh, after that, it is live from the house at 11.30. I'll leave you now with the fallout from tonight's eviction. Thank you very much for watching and good night. I could have some food, I'd feel better. Like Why don't we get is. snacks tonight? I'll vouch for that.
bloodstone. Well, we, we could do jam and jam. I'm having an egg. We All could right. do <laughs> we, <laughs> we could do jam. Oh, we have I got some. I need a refreshment. We had a <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I don't want a yeah. freaking... We have got yeah, some. Really... There's a tuna sandwich for anyone. There was some oh, in the fridge I found. Raspberry. There's half a tuna sandwich for anyone. And a hot tub. No. Anyone? No. Is it I'm fresh? I'm all boxes in the morning. No, it's got butter on the bread, no. Not for me. All right, if I have to. Fuck. Look, she's got that frying pan out. She's having yeah. a fried we egg. We could do boxer size. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. But just not boxing. Like, please don't punch me. I'll do the pads for you if you want to do it. But... Come on, for tea. Mm -hmm. that, well, I hate that one. Well, well. I don't like. I, I don't think I was going to get my hand up either way. I was like, I just oh, I couldn't get my Dad. hand up. Oh. I know it's only a game, but like, and it's just a show. But I just. That was harder than I thought it would be, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you get proper so attached to people in here, didn't you? Like, I, couldn't, I don't think I could do it for any of you. I'd be like, there's no way I'm going to sit here and put my hand up. Like, no. I don't think I could have done it. What's so funny, they've been listening to us. We've all coming up with conspiracy theories. What's going to happen, this they is going to happen. They completely changed.